All right, so let's talk about some more features of the virtual objects on the table. We've got a C1, C2, C3, all pocketing the object ball in the corner pocket, but it's getting a little noisy. Let's double click the C1, and we can remove the lines that's showing the aim point. Double click C2, double click C3. Now you'll notice we still have the ghost ball aim point here for a little bit of help on the shot. But if you don't want that and you just want to run the drill, you can also double click object balls to remove the line and the ghost ball. Now you just have the pattern set up and ready to practice.